Are you trying to control voice meter potato or voice meter banana with your Elgato stream deck and you've been searching all over the internet and every video you find is too confusing and convoluted and you just don't know where to go next? Well, you can stop now because you found the right video. If you're like me, you searched long and hard for a video just like this one and you did not find it. Everything that I can find on this is so convoluted and just gibberish to me. And most of the things that I found just didn't work. So I'm gonna try to make this overly complicated process super easy for you so that you can do it yourself. And I've already done most of the hard work for you because I found all the right codes that you need to put into your stream deck to make this work. And I'm gonna put them all in the comments of this video so you can literally just copy and paste because I've done it for you. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have voice meter potato or voice meter banana installed. You can literally just go into Google and type in voice meter and it's going to be this first one VB dash audio and install this. Now, this video is not going to be on how to install voice meter potato because there's tons of videos out there. I will actually include my favorite one in the description of this video. If you don't already know how to do this, you don't already have it installed, but for now we're going to move on. So if you don't already have that done, go ahead and pause this video, get that installed and come right back. So once you have your preferred version of voice meter installed, then you're going to open your stream deck software as I've done here. And you can see, you kind of see how I have like my first page. I really need to fill in some more buttons here, but I keep all of my sound mixing stuff in a folder here. And this is what we're going to focus on. So what you'll need to do is click on this little icon here and go to the stream deck shop. From here, you're going to actually just type in voice meter and you're going to download the voice meter integration plugin and I've already done it, so it doesn't give me a download option, but you should have one right about here, I believe. So go ahead, download that, install it, and you'll know you've done it right when you come back to the main screen here and you see voice meter bar rater here on the side. Go ahead and click that drop down because we're gonna need some stuff out of here. We're gonna start with the most simple thing, and that's just giving yourself a mute button on whatever strip you would like. But before I get into that, let me explain what I mean when I say strip. So here Here's your voice meter. I use voice meter potato because I need these extra strips. The biggest thing to remember here is that it starts with zero. So this is strip zero, strip one, strip two, strip three, strip four. Remembering that it starts with zero is important because the numbers kind of throw you off. You would think in your mind that this is one, two, three, four, five, but it's actually zero, one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to delete my mute button so that I can make you a fresh one. You can see how it's done. This is the simplest one. It's simply this right here, mute slash unmute. Click that and drag it over here. Now, once you see this, you see some options here. It's mostly done for you already. It says toggle mode, which that's what you want. That means that when you push the button, it's going to mute. When you push it again, it's going to unmute. It's going to toggle. And then you want it to say strip, not bus. Because we're going to use the microphone for the example in this video, I want it to say zero because that is what I have in my zero strip. And that's it for the first button. That's all you're going to do. So now you can see when I hit that button on my stream deck, it's going to mute. You didn't hear me, but I said, as you see, I'm talking right now and you did not hear me. That's because I hit the mute button and it worked. So that's your first button right there. Now, the next thing we want to do is make it where we can push a button to turn the volume up or push another button to turn the volume down. We're literally giving ourselves a mixer. Now, no, we don't have like fancy faders so we can fade up and down, but it's essentially the same thing. As you can see here with the arrows, I have everything kind of labeled. Like obviously this is going to be my volume up row and my volume down row for each strip that I have programmed here. So the difference now is we're going to grab this advanced toggle, drag that over, drop it down. So here's the most difficult part of the video. We're going to put some codes in on these buttons. And again, I'm going to have all of these codes in the description of this video. So you literally just have to copy and paste, but I'm going to explain it anyway. The first thing we want to write is strip with the bracket zero dot gain plus equals one. 
So what we're saying is that when we hit this button on our strip zero, which in my setup, I have my microphone on strip zero. We're saying that when we push this button, if we want it to increase by a value of one. So now that I have that button there, I hit this and look at that. I'm loud. I'm loud, but I don't want to blow your eardrums. So let's turn this back down. So there we go. We have a working button that turns the volume up. Now, what I like to do so that this looks good and also just gives me a good indicator of what the button does is put these arrow icons up so I know what is up and what is down. I simply use ones that are in the Stream Deck library so you can actually just go into the Stream Deck library and the icons section and find these exact icons that I'm using. So they're actually in the Elgato default light section somewhat towards the bottom and I wanna use the up and then boom, there you go. So that's almost everything you need to know, but let, let's just talk about the volume down. So click that, as you can see, I have the same code. The only difference is, is that there is now a negative sign here in, instead of a plus. I'm simply telling the Stream Deck now that when I push this button, I would like the value of this strip to go down one. So now I have three buttons set up for this strip. That's basically everything you need to know now to move forward with your makeshift mixer. So how would you do it to control the other strips? Let's use my music strip as the next example because I use a secondary mic for another setup and a lot of people wouldn't have that. So like, let's jump to music, which as I said, this starts at zero. So this would be strip zero, then this would be strip one. So my music is actually on strip two. Let's go back to the Stream Deck software and here we go, here's my music. I did the same thing here. I used a mute slash unmute toggle and I did toggle mode strip number two. And now at a push of a button, if I was playing music, I could hit that and it would mute the music. To turn the volume up, I simply have the exact same code that I used before, except that I now have it say strip and I've put a two in this bracket instead of a zero. As you can see, using the same exact wash, rinse, and repeat process, I can now turn the music up and turn the music down or mute it all together. And you can continue that process for all of the strips. And then you have successfully turned your Elgato Stream Deck into a mixer. No more tabbing out to control your volume. It's all simple, easy at your fingertips. So there you have it. I hope I've made this super easy and simple for you. Again, all of the codes you need are going to be in the description of this video. So you really just need to copy and paste everything in the right place and you're good to go. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing. Hit me with a like. Every little bit of engagement helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So this is where I'm going to leave you today. But before I do, I genuinely encourage you to follow your passions. And remember, the only guaranteed way to fail is to give up.